before we get started, this is a seam that has been properly done. And notice I've got a column of stitches here, and if I look on the other side of the seam, the column of stitches continue. Okay? And that's the goal. You're trying to make these things unobtrusive, and you're trying to continue whatever stitch pattern it is that you're doing. And the technique that we're going to use that's correct will give you this result. If you place the seam between stitches, you get the dreaded 11s. And what it's doing is it's smooshing the stitches together, and the patterns don't line up. Now, maybe you want to do that for a decorative effect. It is kind of decorative. Uh, but if you want to do it properly, this is why we do not put it in the center of, put it between stitches. We put them in the center. Now, to seam, what I do with my right sides up, those are my two bound off edges, okay? And I'm be going to be placing the needle in the center of one stitch, that's my ugly, icky selvage, and up into the center of the stitch next to it. That is between the stitches, and I'm going to be lining it up on both sides. So I'm going to start by putting my needle in the selvage stitch, the center of it, and then into the center of the stitch next to it, okay? And then I'm going to do the same on the other side. And, ooh, it's upside down. <laughs> this is the part about seaming shoulders that gets kind of confusing. So on this side, the center of the stitch actually looks like an upside down V. And if I get confused, I can always turn it the other way and go, ah, yeah, I'm in the center of the stitch. So I might be shifting back and forward. On the side that's facing you, it's in the center of the stitch. On the side that's upside down, it's going to look like an upside down V but you want to make sure it's in the center of the stitch. I'm putting it into the center of one stitch and out through the other. And on this side, it's upside down, but I'm going to check and make sure, yes, that's the center of a stitch. And you just continue to do this across, making sure that you don't do this. I'm going from the center of one into in between. That's wrong. I want to go from the center of the stitch in t up into the center of that one, and then do the same on the other side, into the center, to the center. Now this may look really big and awful, but when you're done, all you have to do is pull on both sides, and it's pretty invisible. Do you wait until you're waiting until you finish the? I wait. Until, well, or it depends. You can do an inch or so, it depends on the yarn you're using. If I'm using a really heavy duty yarn that is not going to break, and how do I test this? Before I go to seam, I give it a couple of yanks. And if it's a uh, oh, tweedy or something that's kind of fragile, I would do it every inch. Or better yet, I would get some yarn that's close to the same color. You can get these at needlepoint stores, like strands of, of yarn, and use it to seam, because you really can't see that and if it was close to the same color. It just depends on your preference. I generally uh, wait until I'm done with the whole thing and just do it. And the good thing is, is if you make a mistake, you just pull it out and you're done. Okay, let me turn it off.